everyone and welcome back here into the shop for part two of building a Pennsylvania spice box. Now the box I started last week is actually not the box we're going to be using. I said that this was Italian alder and that's great but it's not going to work for this project. Unfortunately, the wood is incredibly unstable. All the other material that I have is just going to have to wait probably at least six months before I even touch it for a project. I think the reason why it is like that is because of the moisture content and I really was not aware of that until I started milling the boards down and they all basically turned into potato chips after I milled them. So instead of using this box we're actually going to be making a brand new one or I actually already made it out of Sapili and it's much better than this one. This one definitely served as like crash course and getting my head back into like joinery mode. That is kind of what I'm taking away from this. I may use this for something in the future but definitely not right now. With that said let's get back to work on part two of this spice box. So this whole base is sitting here in the clamps. I'll leave this for a little bit and then I'll probably clean up the glue. You saw I had some blue painters tape up there. That way the glue doesn't get everywhere and I can just pull that off. And it was a little bit tricky trying to align it because this actually covers the dovetails on the side. One thing to note with this box compared to the first box that we made is that the dividers were actually put in after I glued up the dovetail box. The way I did that was actually running the dado all the way through that way these pieces could just be slid in after the box was made. This is going to be up against the wall anyway so you won't see any of these notches. So those dividers were made out of this quarter inch sapili right here and the drawers are actually going to be made out of maple. I have a lot of maple scrap left over from a previous project so I'm going to mill a couple of these pieces down to a quarter inch. I'll resaw them which will basically double the amount that I get. I'll hopefully have enough. So I just batched out and cut the final sizes down on all the parts for the drawers. Now these are the maple parts which are going to be the sides and the back. However, I still need to cut down the sapili that is going to be for the fronts. So I think I have enough here for the drawer fronts. So I'm going to cut these down to a half inch on the bandsaw or just over and then I'll plane it. Because I could probably use some thinner pieces on something else. But we'll cut these down to a half inch get our fronts going, lay it all out, and then look at doing some dovetails, which will be fun. And those are gonna be, there's gonna be some very small dovetails, so that's gonna be a first. So I am making my way through these dovetail boxes here. This is the third one that I just finished up here. And I have to say that this is going fairly smoothly. The one, I guess, frustrating thing that I noticed pretty quickly was that because this material is so thin, when I saw with the guide down to the line, it's really easy to go past the line and go into the stock to where then you see it in the, the finished result like that. You can see that this one kind of also got away from me right here. It's not the end of the world, but it's just a learning experience. What I'm trying to say is that it's really easy to make an error that shows visibly like that. So I have several more of these to do, so hopefully by the last one, I get pretty good at it. So I'm gonna keep going here, grab the next drawer, and keep dovetailing. <laughs>
So in this spice box, there's four of these little tiny drawers, just like this, that only have one dovetail on either side. And they're pretty quick to do, and I'm about to start the third one, but before I do that, I actually want to start a timer and see how quickly I can put together the drawer. I'm thinking maybe 20 minutes is roughly what I've kind of predicted, so we'll see how close I am to that. So leave your guesses down in the comments below as to how quickly you think I can build this drawer. All right, so the time is gonna start right now. So the layout is super easy. All it is is the numbers to correspond which ones go together and then the outside faces. Pretty simple. I'm working on the last pins. I haven't looked at the time, but I know we're over 22 minutes. And it's like, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but I can't go any faster without making it look terrible. No. Okay, so technically, technically I cut all of them, but on the back piece, if you remember on the last episode of this spice box, I'd cut the dovetails and flipped them on one piece, so I had to recut it. And that's what I just did now, so I don't know what the time is. I was 10 minutes off. So if I had actually done this right, this whole box would have taken 33 minutes. I'm not gonna count the time it takes me to actually fix it, but that's what happens when you try and rush things. I maybe, I guess maybe that's the takeaway from this. Not only did it take me longer, but when I rush it, I actually make mistakes. Go figure. So the bulk of the work now is done on all of these drawers, got them all dovetailed. Now before I put the bottoms in these drawers, I first need to actually clean up the box itself because there's glue squeeze out on the corners and I can't put the boxes in all the way until I do that. I'm going to scrape off the glue, fit the drawers in, and then that way I'll be able to glue the boxes up with the bottoms in them. So we got these drawers all functioning nicely. I got the bottoms glued in, and this is just a quarter inch piece of maple plywood. So these are now 90% of the way done. Just some final sanding to do left on those. The last thing before I end the day off here is going to be cut the back panel that is gonna be able to slide up and down, but it needs to be wide enough to fit this space. So I'm gonna glue two pieces together and that will act as our functioning back. And that back will obviously be the stop for all of our drawers. This right here is my last piece of sapili. So I'm gonna take a chunk off and make that into our back.
you guys are enjoying this series, be sure to drop a like on the video and also turn on your notifications. That way when the third and final video comes out, you get notified. That's all I got for this one. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.